Secret Service Director Julia Pearson resigned Wednesday following several embarrassing security lapses in President Obama's security crew. Those incidents include a recent intruder who broke into the White House and an armed contractor with a felony record who rode an elevator with President Obama during his visit to the CDC in Atlanta. A 2011 incident in which a man fired gunshots at the White House also raised concerns. During her congressional testimony on Tuesday, Pearson said she takes full responsibility for the shortcomings of the agency she led. Calls for her resignation quickly grew as she failed to acknowledge the elevator incident during the hearing before it became public knowledge. During Wednesday's White House briefing, Press Secretary Josh Earnest said even the White House wasn't kept in the loop about the elevator incident. She did not tell him about that, or the agency did not tell the White House about that until he didn't know about it until yesterday. Uh, until shortly before it was reported publicly. That's correct. Uh, over the last several days, we've seen recent and accumulating reports uh, raising questions about the performance of the agency. Uh, and the president concluded that new leadership of that agency was required. Homeland Security Director Jay Johnson accepted her resignation on Wednesday and said that a panel of independent experts will review the overall performance of the Secret Service. In the meantime, former Special Agent Joseph Clancy will take command of the agency as the interim director. Uh, the president recommended and Secretary Johnson agreed uh, that uh, Joe Clancy, uh, someone who had served with distinction in the Secret Service um, until uh, the summer of 2011, uh, would be a good candidate for serving as the acting director of Secret Service until a more permanent replacement can be found. The uh, White House Clancy says President Obama called Pearson Wednesday to thank her for her 30 years of service to the agency.